Right, I saw this cheeseburger being made on rhubarb and cod, and um, <laughs> about well, three minutes ago, now I'm making it. Right, let's get cooking. Right, today's going to be a bit um, funny. Um, I was watching rhubarb and cod, and I thought I would make a homage to um, Susan's cheeseburger, which I thought was absolutely fantastic. So I've got two patties here that have been pre-cooked and frozen, then I've heated them up, and I've put some parmesan, grated parmesan on, um, before I put my cheddar on. Uh, I've got the buns in the oven uh, at the moment, um, toasting, and, um, and I'm just going to get the other ingredients out of the fridge now. Now I don't have any tomato, so um, I'm going to, as, I, as you can see, I'm going to double up on the actual patties themselves. I don't have iceberg lettuce, so it's going to have to be uh, spinach leaves. I've got some pickles there, and I've got some um, mustard as well. So, uh, okay, we're going to, once everything's um, heated up, and uh, um, and ready I'll assemble. All right now we're going to put this together. Um, I hope we I hope we get it all right. So um, mustard first on the base. This is actually a sourdough um, bun, hamburger bun. Um, so I'm hoping this will be Quite yummy. So we've got mustard, tomato sauce, and we've got our pickles here. I think this was the order that. Susan had it in. Now we have our first patty. Now did we have something else first? We had some, I think we had some lettuce leaves. This is spinach leaves. Now we need Mayonnaise, we'll put some more leaves on there, then we'll put the other patty. And then the top of the sourdough bun. Right here. I think that looks alright actually. And um, a special thanks, I would have to say, to Susan from Rhubarb and Cod. This is totally her idea. Um, and I was watching it and thought, gee, I'm hungry. I've got to make it. So I did. So. I'm going to get stuck into this. I really hope um, you get onto Susan's channel and um, start making some of the stuff she's got on there. I will catch you on the next recipe.